Hi, I'm Shara Sober. And I'm Ann Saravia. And we're co-founders of Save the Cord Foundation. And today you're going to meet several young women from the University of Arizona and also some older members, some alums from the University of Arizona. And they're going to tell you about the value of cord blood and what it means to them. I just thought it was like amazing like to have something that won't harm or affect anybody and can do so much. I want to educate everybody about it and I hope that everyone knows about cord blood. I've yet to meet someone who once they fully understand it has been like, well no, that's still so. Anyone can share this information. It doesn't have to just be women in their 20s. It's something that should be um, known throughout the U.S. and what better place than a college campus. As a woman, you know, someone that probably will be having kids in the next five to ten years, it's so relevant. I'm not in support of the use of embryonic stem cells. I think that is morally wrong, but these are not embryonic stem cells, so I am like, I would love to do research with these stem cells and see what I can come up with. We are the next generation of women, women that are going to have babies. I don't think that there's any other option. I don't care what it costs. That's something that my husband and I will have to budget. My mom has MS, so we're always looking for new techniques, and she's been in a lot of research studies. So banking cord blood would be amazing, you know, no one will have to go through it, it'd be, it'd be great, it's a great solution. It's so exciting for a lot of people, they're like, wow, I've never even heard about this, it's such an easy process, why hasn't anybody ever talked to us about this? It wows you with, you know, how intelligent the whole process is. For me, cord blood in the future, in the near future, in the, in the next decade of my life, will be something that is so prevalent and talked about amongst all of my friends. Knowing that I have something in my body that I could use as a tool and just give it to the world is an amazing thing. My name's Paige Brainerd. I have adopted children, so I really wanted mm -hmm. cord blood, and I think it's important, and so I've always been pretty focused on it. People really are, they just don't know what it is. They don't know how important it is. They don't know what the wonderful benefits that have occurred already with it. And, I mean, we've just got to get that to them. I am uh, Audrey Weistrat Gilbride. Um, I am a mother of three. I also have Crohn's disease, which is an autoimmune disease. And slowly through my educational process, realized that that, that may someday help them out. Cord blood is maybe one of the single most important things that there is. Um, I think it'd be really neat today to go out and find out what the common student on the U of A campus knows about cord blood. I don't know if you guys are familiar with cord blood. They're used to regenerate organs, they're used to do all sorts of transplants. I know anything about umbilical cord blood. Have you guys ever heard anything about it? I was actually cured from my really rare blood disease, Fanconi's anemia, because my baby sister was a match and her cord blood was saved to use for my transplant. You don't meet anyone on the street who knows what this is, and like you were saying, you know, it's been 20 years. Where is the progress? Why isn't this something that is on everybody's lips? And why, you know, why isn't it more publicized? And what can we do to make sure that, you know, we're making the right choices when, you know, we're having children? Right, exactly. I mean, I'm just seeing firsthand, like, it works. Right, 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 and yeah. very it's first. right. really awesome. really, really glad that Cher and Ann are doing the Save the Core Foundation because it's so important. And I just want to say that the future is here, and the future is cord blood. And I want to introduce you really quickly to some amazing young women in this room. And that's the future sitting right over at that table. Would you stand up? These young women are from the University of Arizona. They have adopted Save the Core Foundation. Because this year, uh, they, they taught so many other young women about saving the cord and how important it is. 